As the military operation continued to avert a disaster here, the Prime Minister arrived tonight to witness the efforts being made to fix this broken dam. And after spending a few minutes inspecting it from the bridge, this was his assessment of the damage. It's looking dodgy but stable is how I would describe it. I mean, they've done an amazing job. What needs to happen now is that the water all needs to come out. Uh, there needs to be a proper uh, repair, re rebuild uh, of that dam. And that's obviously what we're going to do. Earlier, the Prime Minister met residents forced out of their homes and spending a second night at a leisure centre. I flew over the, the, the dam. It looks, pretty, it looks pretty scary. All day, an RAF Chinook hovered over this reservoir, bringing sand, stone and, they hope, salvation to Whaley Bridge. It was an operation requiring both strength and precision to fill the gaping hole in the wall holding back the water. We're hoping to fill the gap that's currently sitting in the dam wall um, so that we can stabilise that so the engineers that can come along afterwards um, and spray a, a sort of a grouting cement into the, into the bag area and make the, uh, the, the dam front safe. Each bag being dropped weighs a tonne and by the end of the day they hope to have dropped around 400 as they try to strengthen this dam wall. But for now, the emergency services say its structural integrity remains critical. Below it, the centre of Whaley Bridge is still a no-go area, amid fears it could yet burst. It's, it's nice to see somebody coming in and doing something. Leanne is one of more than a 1,000 people who can't go home, staying with her parents on higher ground. She finds the operation unfolding below both reassuring and unsettling. It's slightly scary because obviously we don't know what's going to happen. We don't know whether the dam's going to give way or whether we're going to be all right. Um, we don't know how long we're going to be out of our houses for. They've obviously cut off the village, so we can't get in or out of the village in our cars. Alongside the military operation, firefighters have begun pumping water out of the reservoir to relieve pressure on the dam, reducing its level by half a metre today, enough to allow people a brief visit home. We will be putting plans in place for residents to return to their addresses for a very short time, very controlled, um, to pick up really vital um, um, things that they need. But this is very critical and it is still life at risk. No one can say how long it will take to make things safe. The RAF will now build mini dams where water enters the reservoir. Their battle with the elements and the danger is far from over. Ben Chapman, News at 10, Whaley Bridge.